Is moving to Canada still worth it? In this video, I'll talk about three critical aspects that will provide you with additional data point to make the right decision for you. First, I'll talk about Canada's current and future economic outlook. Second, I'll talk about immigration outlook. And finally, I'll provide my perspective on right decision for students and professionals. My name is Akash and for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. Let's get started. First, I'll talk about Canada's economic outlook. Media and analysts keep predicting next recession in Canada. However, I would say that Canada is going through one of the worst recession in recent time. And the worst part about this economic slowdown is that the government is not even acknowledging it. It has shown zero accountability inflation in canada is still high and rents are breaking records and it is very difficult to find any job in canada and to add fuel on the fire the government is adding 500,000 new immigrants each year it is very common to see video like this for getting a job <laughs> In short, Canadian economy is going through very tough time and that is not going to change anytime soon because majority of Canada's housing mortgage will be renewing in next two years. As the interest rates are high, most mortgages will be renewed at much higher cost. This will increase pressure on Canadians to spend less, leading to even slower economy. So coming two years will be time of economic uncertainty in Canada. Now let's quickly talk about immigration. Due to influx of students and temporary worker, getting PR has become difficult lately. However, if you are working in tech, then getting PR is still relatively easy in all Canadian provinces. Government has introduced new programs such as caregiver stream, trade worker stream and others to fill shortage of workers in that field. Over the last four years, Canada has added 4 million to its population and that is more than 10% increase in overall population in Canada. Therefore, there has been increasingly negative sentiment about immigration amongst general population, and it is likely that Canadian government will change after the election in 2025. Depending on the election promises, immigration policy could be impacted. As of today, no major party has promised to reduce immigration as part of their election campaign. Therefore, if you are a student or temporary worker looking to move to Canada, then please think before making any decision. Finally, let's talk about my perspective. I'll talk about students and professionals separately. If you want to skip the student segment, then click on this timestamp. Now let's talk about students. If you're a student, then I'll recommend that you opt for universities or college and aim to study in field that is in demand. Consider yourself a business owner. If you have opportunity to hire from two candidates, one with diploma degree and other with master degree, who will you hire? Obviously, one with master degree. Many students are aiming for short-term reward over long-term planning. Pursuing diploma course will help you land in Canada and do odd jobs, but reality will quickly hit as soon as you graduate. It will be extremely difficult to get job in field of your study with diploma degree and therefore your PR journey will be difficult as well. To add to that, many diploma degree has no scope of landing real job. For example, diploma in international relation. Contrarily, if you choose to pursue master's degree from reputed university in Canada, then you will easily land a job. I have made a video on top colleges and universities in Canada, you can check it out. Once you graduate with master's degree, it will be easier for you to get a job in field of your study. Therefore, getting a PR will be significantly easy as well. If you are not getting admission at reputed university in master's degree, then I would recommend that you delay your plan to come to Canada. Please ensure to plan for longer term or short term, because this one decision will change the course of your life literally. So plan accordingly. Now let's quickly talk about professionals. For professionals, Canada provides two options. First option would be to work short term, earn money and leave Canada. This would be great idea if you are coming from a country where Canadian dollar would go long way. But if you are coming from the US or Europe, then this plan might not work out. For others, pursuing option one can be considered a safe bet. By doing so, you can explore Canada and decide if Canada is even a viable option for you. But before you move to Canada, try to ensure that you have a job. Easiest way to ensure a job upon landing is to get transferred to Canada from your current company. However, if this is not viable and you have Canadian PR, then you could move to Canada for job hunting. In short, this option will provide you with an experience of what it would be like to live in Canada. And then it will give you a chance to decide if you want to immigrate. And the second option is to immigrate directly. However, if you do decide that Canada is the right option for you, then it might be wiser for you to plan longer term at this point. Figure out what you'd like to achieve in the next 5 to 10 years in Canada and start working towards that goal. That's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Please like, share and subscribe. And as always, if you have any question, please comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. See you in the next one. Thanks.